What's going on everybody and welcome back to the Draft Report. In today's video we will be breaking down LSU wide receiver Malik Neighbors. So let's get into it. So here's just a quick look at uh, Neighbors stats this season. As you can see he was amazing in everything. Receptions he was less than Odunze in that and yards but he also played two less games. So you can really see that in the yards per route run. Um, he was clearly the best receiver at least by yards on a uh, route run basis which is a very telling stat at the NFL level and for college. Um, but he did also play with the Heisman winner, so you have to discount his stats a little bit for that. Um, and then after the catch, he's very good as well, um, beating Harrison and Odunze in that stat. So the stats just show that um, Neighbors had a very good year statistically, and uh, we'll see if the film backs that up. Neighbors has exceptional quickness and short area movement skills, as we'll see here. He's lined up outside, good release package, and then is just so quick in and out of his breaks that this corner can't do anything. You see off the line, he does a good job selling this and then beats him on the release. And then here, he just snaps off that break so quickly. The corner has nothing. He doesn't lose any speed at all when he's breaking like this. I would like to see him sell his route a little bit better as he gets past that release. He doesn't do a good job selling this back out towards the numbers and then breaking it in, but it doesn't matter because he's so fast and quick out of his breaks that defenders can't guard him in college. Makes the catch, breaks a tackle as well. Here's another example. He's lined up in the slot with off coverage, and he's so quick off the line and then just threatens this defender so quickly. The snappiness and fluidity of his break is so elite. He doesn't get targeted here, but just look at how quick his feet are moving when he does decide to stem this off. The defender just has no chance, even though he doesn't draw the target. Neighbors also has great start-stop ability, showing on curls and comebacks, as we see here. He gets up the field so fast here, threatening the defender, making him backpedal more, and then he can just stop so quickly. Daniels puts this on him late, so he's not able to make the catch, but just look at how quick not only he gets up field, but how quickly he stops as well, just on a dime. If Daniels puts this on good timing, they pick up the first. Neighbors is a great separator for the college level, but I don't think he's at an NFL level when it comes to his nuance and understanding of the route tree. Here's a good example of that. He gets off the line quick and then just kind of rounds this route. Even though he draws the target here, he doesn't really do anything to set up this route. As you can see on the break, he just not very sharp, but he just gets by with his quickness and speed that it didn't really matter in college. But the next level, he's going to need to be a little more refined in his breaks and get better at setting up defenders on his stems. Neighbors also has excellent long speed, making him a premier deep threat, as we'll see here. Use that acceleration off the line to get to the second level quickly, and then he's just so fast that no one can catch up to him. Ball's a little behind him, but he still has like 10 yards of space between him and the nearest defender. We see him again lined up in the slot. Gets off the line so quickly, gets past this defender immediately, and then he's gone. Probably 4-3 speed at the combine, um, putting him in the top end of NFL speed and really threatening defenses downfield, as we see on this play. Neighbors also displays great body control at the catch point, especially on sideline catches like this one. Good release off the line, gets a step on the defender, and then goes up and gets it outside of his frame. We can see this better from this angle. So we see balls up, and then it's way ahead of him, way outside of his frame. He has to go up and get it, does a good job getting back to this ball, and then he's in the air and able to toe tap on the sideline. Just an unbelievable catch. Here's another example against Texas A&M. He's lined up on the outside here. Ball's thrown up to him, goes up and gets it, and is able to toe tap. Amazing catch. While Neighbors is great before and at the catch point, he's even better with the ball in his hands after the catch. This plays a good example of that. It's just a little out route. He finds the soft spot in the zone, breaks a tackle, uses that long speed, breaks another tackle, and then drives forward. A good 30-yard pickup after the catch. Here's another play from that same game. He's going to get a little handoff here little pitch to him, he's able to slip a tackle immediately, use that speed to get to the edge, and then get a tackle and push forward for a couple extra yards. The only area where Neighbors really struggles is going up against bigger defenders who contact him. He only stands six foot 200, which is undersized in both weight and height. Um, as we see here, a bigger receiver or defender tries to press him, and he just really gets thrown off his break. Um, he doesn't do a great job avoiding contact or swiping hands away or have creative release packages to like get rid of it. So press defenders can beat him pretty easily like this, just using contact, shoving him off his route. Even though here he is able to separate due to his quickness, you can just see at the beginning of the route, he really gets thrown off by contact and gets controlled by this defender. He also struggles a little bit at like 50-50 balls at the catch point against bigger guys. Like here in the red zone, they try to give him a fade. 
does a good job off the release, but then this bigger defender is able to just kind of box him out, and he's not very aggressive in attacking the ball. So all in all, Malik Neighbors is an elite wide receiver prospect. His acceleration off the line and his fluidity and his burst out of his breaks is truly exceptional. As a route runner, he shows good promise for how young he is at learning the route tree and being able to sell his routes, but he still could improve on that, and that would make him even more of a threat underneath routes. But he already just gets by with how quick he is in and out of his breaks. He can just separate so easily, and then he can take the top off any defense with 4-3 speed, and he's great at ball tracking downfield. His... Um, ability at the catch point when it comes to body control and um, concentration of getting his feet in bounds is amazing. He's great when it comes to red zone ability, getting his feet in and on the sideline. I do think he struggles a little at the catch point against bigger receivers. He's not great at like attacking the ball and he has a pretty small catch radius so he's not necessarily a 50-50 jump ball type of guy but he doesn't really need to be because he's so good at getting open not only underneath but intermediate routes and on deep routes. Um, Overall, his only true weakness is really just fighting through contact, whether it's press. I think he could get better at mixing up release packages, swiping hands away to avoid getting contacted, and then during his routes, he can get thrown off a little by press, and same thing on uh, at the catch point, you know, just as a smaller receiver, he needs to get better at avoiding and limiting how much contact throws him off, but overall... He's very good as a receiver, um, and then after the catch, he is amazing. With the ball in his hands, his contact balance is amazing. His quickness and short area skills show as he's able to juke people out in a phone box, and then um, he can take any ball to the house with his elite speed. So I think overall, Malik Neighbors is a future pro bowler and a guy that can be the number one of any offense. I do worry about him truly sticking at X receiver because of his size, but I think he has enough athleticism to stick um in worst case he can be one of the best slot receivers in the league um, but i think that gives him a little versatility being able to move outside to in he was like 50 50 in college of slot and outside so i think at both he can be very good um and he'll be one of those top 10, top 15 receivers in the league pretty quickly, in my opinion. He's a uh, 7.17 on my 8-point scale, making him a Pro Bowl talent and a guy that will be an immediate contributor and um, a very good player day one in the league. Um, for a player comparison, I kind of like Garrett Wilson because they're so quick and agile. Um, they might not be the biggest. They're both like six foot, 190, 200 in that range. Um, so they're not maybe the best at the catch point, but their body control and flexibility and quickness is just elite. And they also possess 4-3 speed. So I think that's a good comparison. I think he can be similar where, you know, he's in talks for offensive rookie of the year and is a pro bowler within his first contract like Garrett Wilson is. And overall, Malik Neighbors will be amazing at the next level and is probably a future star in the NFL. So that's going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.